not set to capture the game. I, I don't, like, I don't understand. Oh. I couldn't save data. I couldn't new the file. Fi I failed to load the save data. Hell no. Why the fuck would I want to delete the evidence, the, the, the data? That's fucking stupid. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go through this shit. Give me a couple minutes to recap everything. I don't know if we have to talk to him or not. Probably should talk to him. I, I think I do have to talk to him. I'm just gonna skip through everything. Sorry guys for the inconvenience. Sorry so much. Skipping the shabby. Just drink some water while I'm at it. Tired of just clicking. I guess now would be a good time to remind people, anybody who watches this, uh, who's a part of the Discord server, please vote. Please vote for the game, new game on Wednesday, or not Wednesday, sorry, Thursday, uh, before this Thursday comes up. Right now I'm recording this, it's Monday. So you got like two days, two and a half. Uh, let me get out of this. Move. Detention center. We're just going through every single chat dialogue that I've been through. I'm ready to get it over with. Because I don't know if it's necessary or not, so... Probably is. <sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. Etc. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me save this so I don't lose it. I don't have to redo all that stupid text again. 
December twenty December twenty seventh, Grossberg Law Offices. He's out again. When does he work anyway? Now, now, don't be harsh. I guess we'll have to come back later. Honestly, it feels like that's half the time with certain people. There, there be people who like they come in and they they hardly work and then they leave, and it's like, bro, why is it that you're never there when people need you? Like there are certain instances I remember in my life. I, I can't remember them exactly, but I've known there been moments where, like, whether it be like um, I don't know, like the principal or or like a certain like staff member of like school or like a doctor or like a freaking what's it like a manager at work. Uh, Gord Lake. That's where we're going. December twenty seventh, Gord Lake Park entrance. Hey pal, no, no time. Up, 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 up. Time, long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial sometime tomorrow. Come what may, it's my duty to you as a police officer. Now, I'm out to catch me a criminal. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. Yeah. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was, Lotta was camping. The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one could go in for a while. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Crunchy fingers. December 27th, Gord Lake Public Beach. Huh? The steel, the steel eyesore is missing. <laughs> eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's too busy to worry about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. About Mr. Edgeworth, to, not for Mr. Edgeworth to show. Yes, because now, 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 uh, Edgeworth has quit prosecuting and has decided to work under Larry in the art of selling samurai dogs. <laughs> December 27th, boat rental shop. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem. I think I know who this is. I'd know that clearing of the throat anywhere. Aha, hello. What might you be doing here? Out for a walk. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Grossberg, this is no time for idle re reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial... De de pepe. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Also, welcome, or welcome back if you were here previously. Apologies for the inconvenience, but the stream went out temporarily uh, at, ironically, the halfway point because of a, um, an exploded um, oh, transformer. That's what it is. A transformer exploded. I even freaking heard it go boom and shit. Oh, -ho. what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? That actually is curious. Why would he be here? 
move. Can we go inside the... We can go inside the shack. I bet the safe... Oh, we can access the safe because he's not here! <laughs> December 27th. Caretaker shack. Nobody's home. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello. Hello. I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello. Hello. We're going to keep just saying that. <laughs> uh, let's examine a clock's worth. I feel like you're new. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, you are new. Uh, I was streaming an hour ago, uh, but um, a couple of minutes ago, a transformer went out. But I'm back. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, as long as you are not advertising art, you may stay. I've had to deal with so many art scammers recently. Um, but how have you been? I hope you're doing well. God. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Uh, right. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number of to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Don't gotta worry about me. I've been all good. About to go to the... Ooh. Uh, me? Um, I'm tired, um, a bit, and I'm just... I don't know. I'm kind of just like... <laughs> my mood is kind of just... I'm kind of just here. <laughs> I don't know. T today's today's been really fucking weird. Today's super weird. Bunch of shit happened at work. And then that Transformer exploded. And then the weather's been like freaky as of late. Fill episode type day? Kinda? I mean, I stream this every single... Um, uh, Monday, but... I, because my voice gets so strained sometimes from doing this, and because honestly, I kind of see I'm not, I'm not blind to this unfortunately. But it did win the votes for Monday, so I'm playing this game until it ends, and then um, I'm only doing two hours though because this game does tire me out a bit, uh, as opposed to the others. I actually do have a voting poll for a new game on that I stream on Thursdays, uh, but the link is currently in the Discord. Although there is a... I don't know if the Discord link works. I don't know why I can't seem to get it to stop. I don't know why I can't seem to get it to, like, not expire, even though I put it to not expire. So, I, I've tried a number of things. Hopefully, th it still works. Um, Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. <clears throat> oh, God. So, Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aww. But hey. He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure. Polly's a snitch. <laughs> okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. Oh, I also have a YouTube for that where I post my previous uh, VODs and stuff. So if you miss anything and you want to go back and watch it... There, it should also be in the like links section of the about page as well as like other shit. I have a Facebook and so I don't, but I don't. I haven't posted on it recently uh, because uh, my art has been a bit lacking in attention. <laughs> I guess there might be a clue or two. Thanks. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter. Aw, boring. There's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Nick, why would Miles Edgeworth's... Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says, this is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. 
How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. So, so the, so the, so the shack guy was instructed then, which I mean, I, yeah, no, I do remember that actually, I forgot he was instructed, shit. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. Where, when he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Letter from the safe added to the court record. Letter from the safe. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This note details the murder and setup. Um, okay. Uh, I will say I do stream tomorrow on Tuesdays. I stream Slime Rancher. Oh, oh. Hope they have a warrant to serve. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that actually. <laughs> uh, boy. Many things that are illegal in this game, or uh, rather, things that would be illegal. In real life. Let me go talk to that. Um, let's go here. Go talk to Grossberg. Or Grossberg, rather. Uh, entrance. Move. Mighty illegal to go into a room, open up people's saves, and take stuff, even if it's evidence. Let's check those entrances. Nothing. Okay, nothing there. The Ferris apartment. Anything there? Nothing changed. Uh, entrance. No, that's not what I. Son of a. No. Pressing all the. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Oh my god. Attention setter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm bad at this. Really? Really? Okay. What? What if I present to him? Uh, the, the, the letter. Edgeworth, see this letter? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Oh, so I had to go here. Revenge on me. Who is that old guy anyway? I, I don't know. Could he have an, Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So, he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. It also says, this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the Statue of Limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man. W what is it? Do you know who he is? Oh, I got a text. Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi Bear? No. The suspect in the DLC, there, in the DL6 incident, the one who was found innocent. Uh, I'm trying to check a text briefly. What the fuck did I just? Yeah, I'm just not gonna pay attention to that text. If only it was whoa. If only it was Yogi Bear. Yeah, if only. <laughs> no, 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 not move, not move. Uh, talk perhaps? Yes. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. He just happened to be in that 
elevator together. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long it felt like forever. The air thinned and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed that oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Huh, but isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help, I can't breathe. Yeah, we went through this part. Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. I, I can't breathe, you... You're using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll I'll stop you. What what are you? Stop breathing my air. No, father. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In the days I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! I'm not making that automatopoeia. That would rip my throat up. And I need that for work, unfortunately. Well, semi-fortunately. I don't know. And with that scream, I wake. Honestly, though, the amount of times I freaking had to, like, greet customers... <laughs> At this point, everything starts sounding the same at work. It's like I have freaking like record like uh, like automated lines that I just keep repeating, and I've almost lost my voice a few times too. It's a bone chilling scream, a scream that has rung in my ears for the past fifteen years. I rhymed. I don't know. Good God, B but. That's just a dream, right? Right? That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. Bars, yes, bars. That's, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> but what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. <laughs> his bars were so sick that they killed him that he killed his father with them I guess I don't know 
He wrapped him to death. Good God. Um, what? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Bruins with his fire track. I hope I burned, burned, burned with his fire track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of the L6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? <laughs> what can we do? Well, just because he said it doesn't mean... Well, he might... I don't know. Well, I mean... I know, but I don't know. If you catch my drift. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6s in it, maybe. There is, Nick. There is someone else who could who knows about the DL, about DL6. Polly. No, not Polly. That's not. Let's not. Uh Grossberg. December 27th. Grossberg Law Offices. M Mr. Grossberg. Ah, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Where does this game take place? That's actually a good question. I don't know. But get, well... Guessing from... Okay. Let's see. From my past knowledge of stuff... In evolving this, because I... <laughs> again, I'm not blind to this. But from what I've, like... From what I can remember from various things I've seen... I think it's supposed to be a weird mix of Japan... And America? Or something? I don't know. Just calm down and tell me what's happened. Hmm? It's m Mr. Edgeworth. He, he. Noises I shall not make. Probably. I see. So Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. It. It's all only a dream. Only a dream. I wonder. What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled? What happened to client confidentiality? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have not seen those eyes in the freaking chat in Twitch, and they just look so funny. They look so, like, much goofier than Norm than I see them in Discord. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> well, also, consider this. Yogi quite simply holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined, Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired, and the deed was done. No, I, I don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder, and his case as a career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Get better aim, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> this was his last chance, of, co of course, with the Statue of Limitations so close. Okay. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? Uninstall the game? Huh? What do you want about? I'm lost. <laughs> he was the defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. 
Well, he may have had one peer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. I need this man's vocabulary. <laughs> Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And he lost, and died in despair, as it were. I see. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The man who shot me was the bailiff. Yani Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But perhaps a possibility nonetheless. Oh, but a possibility nonetheless. Okay, so now what? Nothing new there. There. I doubt anything new here. Yeah, no. Oh my lord, my throat. What happened? You okay? I don't know where to go with this. It's been so sore recently, it's... And it's like... So sorry recently, it's like, man... What am I... What the hell kind of crack sh am I witnessing in my household? I can hear my mom singing some weird ass shit. Um, been drinking water and such. Yeah, I've been doing the same. My throat's also kind of been messed up, and as well as a few of my friends. I think one of my friends actually had strep at some point. Thankfully, it didn't pass on, though. Uh, criminal affairs. Maybe it's that season, I guess. Uh, let's go... Hmm. Do you, do you have a bird? I don't have a bird, but that scene does have a bird noise in it. It's kind of irritating. Let's see what happens if I present something. Ah, got me confused. What happens if I present this? Oh ho! So this is the letter. It does seem that Yanni Yogi, that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert, Robert Hammond? Good question. Robert was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite...
quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially, he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? No, not him. Not him. Well, damn, they made it obvious. Yeah, rookie mistake. You should have typed it. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> hmm, could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma, why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Von Karma, von Karma. W wait, you're right, my boy. This is von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. Yogi kept the letter. Yeah, that's also really fucking stupid. Shoulda burnt it. I know. These criminals are idiots. What? But but that means... The, the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? I'd definitely do better if I was a criminal. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Is there anything else to do? Oh, oh, well, no. What happens? No. I don't know. Because I don't think it would... Because now it has updated information, but it's not actually physically updated in the court record thingy. Mm, let me save. Just, let me just save, because I feel like saving. I want another freaking transformer blowing out. I wonder. Will it have a diff will he say something different now if I present him? Edgeworth, see this letter? Oh, okay, we're going through this shit again. Okay, we're going through this shit again. Talking like freaking Wendy old bag. Just giving new texts left and right. <laughs> oh god. Let's see if if Damn it, he's not here <laughs> either either. What am I supposed to do? What the hell should I do? Should I just keep presenting shit I get? Let me I'm probably gonna have to keep presenting shit. This is probably a waste of my time. Yeah, I figured. Okay, time to go and present more shit to Mr. Grossberg. Oh god. Pineapple. Shit. Pineapple. 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 Fuck. I'm trying not to sneeze. Pineapple, damn it. Shit. I'm even looking at a cup that's shipping a pineapple that I have. Okay, there we go. It stopped. Um... I mean, I could present him with Misty Face photo, but I don't think there's much he could say. What? Yeah, that's a thing I heard. It was a r rumor I heard where if you say pineapple a bunch, and sometimes you even think about pineapples, it stops you from sneezing, and... It has worked for me most of the time, oddly enough. Ah, she was a beautiful woman. I'm truly sorry about what I did. Huh? Sorry about what? I think I'll stay out of this one. Overhead map. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I presented him with that. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real. 
it works for me. <laughs> Gregory Edgeworth. He was a gifted man. His death was truly a loss. I wonder what could... Wait, I just... I'm sorry, halfway through this, I just realized another loophole. Or another, like, hole in... Plot hole in, kinda. How the fuck is it? Placebo effect goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I'm just wondering, though. How the fuck did Grossberg realize it was Von Karma's handwriting, but then Miles saw it, and he works directly under him? Like, has he never seen Von Karma's handwriting? That he didn't recognize it? Like, what? I'm sorry, what? I mean... Yeah, well... Well, I can recognize my mom's handwriting. I've seen it a shit ton of times. My dad's is, I think, fairly similar to hers, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I wonder what would have become of Von Karma were he alive. Is there nothing I can do, bro? Like, see, these are the parts I don't remember and the parts I get stuck with. So it's gonna be what? What? We got... 15 minutes, it's gonna be the next 15 minutes of me struggling to figure out what the fuck to do to progress. I don't pay attention to handwriting much, especially since everything's mostly typed these days. I recognize tone, though. Tone in, like, speaking? Or are you talking about writing tone? Because I think that's a thing. Not that I know much about it, because, I mean, I myself used to get D's in English class. I sucked at writing and shit. Oh, like, how people write. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. I... I vaguely know what that means. Like, I vaguely know what that is. Or how to, like, I probably wouldn't be able to tell that shit. Because, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm me and writing. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Not that I can't write. Like, I can write well. My problem is, like, I don't know what it is with just me and handwriting. I don't usually like writing in hand. I, I'm better at, I, I, can, I can type, but even still, like, <laughs> I was that kid where it's like, I'm not writing this cool work because it's fucking boring. I'm only writing what I feel like writing. <laughs> Found in the victim's body in the markings. Am I supposed to present stuff or is there something else I'm supposed to do? Wait a minute, I presented the letter to him. What if I present to him the DL6 incident? Uh, to Miles. I didn't try that. It was that case that changed my life. I thought, like, pineapple is what you, what made you sneeze. Really? Well, I heard something weird involving pineapple, like, a couple of months ago, actually, at work, where somebody was saying pineapple, and apparently, supposedly, when they say pineapple, that, that means that they, that they wanted to, um, that, that, that was just, like, code word for them not wanting to be there at work. I don't know, it was something stupid that I heard. I was about to send these through <laughs> to test it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have an urge. But thanks for the emote. Very cute pineapple. I have hardly seen, like, generic emotes like that on Twitch. <laughs> um, or at least I can remember. Um, it was that case that had, ch that changed my life. And tomorrow, on December 28th, its Statue of Limitations runs out. Tomorrow, could that be a coincidence? Fuck, I dropped my... Rosen? Did you mean to say Rosen? If so, what is Rosen? Because I don't know what the fuck Rosen is. Unless it's raisins that you're trying to say. For Violina? Violins. Rosen. Now, I did take band class, like, one year. And my dad did gift me a violin that's broken, mind you, so I haven't gotten it fixed nor have I learned to play it yet. Rosen. Rosen. I'm trying to remember what the fuck that thing is. 
because it sounds familiar now that I think about it. It's it's like somewhere in the back of my memory. There's like a, it just feels right with the word violin. But I don't know what the fuck it is. So if you want, you can enlighten me. But even if the case is finally closed on paper, it will never be erased from my memory. Never. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. That was all you gotta say? My god. What do you think about this? Sorry. I'm not sure I can help you with that. <laughs> you sure could have last time! What am I supposed to do, bro? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't fucking know! Pronounce rosin. It's like tree sap. It makes the bow sticky, so it makes friction with the strings. Oh. Interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I legitimately am lost as fuck. Is there anything to talk about? No. Maybe I missed something. Ah! Aha! If it is, if it, <laughs> if it truly was von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth has had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But uh, how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Hmm. That I do not know. So what kind of music I'm into? <laughs> that's a, that's a question that w <laughs> like okay I could say eclectic which is my default answer if I were to look at my play I'd have to like give artists because I don't stick to a specific genre there are some that I like obviously more than others there's some even that I don't even when I looked up the band it'd say a bunch of different fucking genres that I never heard of. I'm like really um I'd have to give some band names, probably. So, I I do know that unfortunately a lot of my playlist has my like main playlist has like some has K-pop in it, namely just BTS. But there is other stuff in there. Um, let's see, probably some some obscure ass artists, but there are also some good ones. Um, I know there's like a sprinkle of Maroon Five and what's his, what's it called? What's it called? Ah, oh, the guy with the dude. Oh my god, what is it called? Fuck. It's the guy that... Oh my god. I don't even know his fucking name. All I know is some random ass piece of trivia that's so fucking weird sounding. About the band. Oh my god. What, what is it called? No, no. Let me go... Let me open this shit up see what it was called. Uh... Oh my lord, what the fuck was it? Oh, there, 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 there it is. Coldplay. A hint of Coldplay, some, a, a hint of, like, Maroon 5, like, every now and then. The ones I really listen to, though, I, I like Alan Stone and Surfaces a lot. Um, I don't know if you even know them or not. Um, what else is there? There's also a fair amount of Tudor Cinema Club and Coyote Theory. You probably haven't heard of Coyote Theory, though, because that one... <laughs> that one... I shit you not, started in a garage band one street over from the street I lived on when I was in high school. And that was just a tiny band. It wasn't really anything crazy. I think they already broke. They, like, broke up, like, years ago, too. Um, I guess, to put it, they were, like, I think they were kind of, like, alternative rock or something. I don't know. And then I think... I don't even know what the fuck you classify services as, but I think Alan Stone does like 
kind of like funk. I don't even fucking jazz funk. I don't fucking know. I don't know what my music tastes are, okay, bro? I don't know. Uh, yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. There we go with that part again. And I think that has something to do with his motive and something. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hunting his son. Yes, that's what I was thinking. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial and scarred. Even more shit? Even more tea to sip? What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And through, though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was only the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edward dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? More of a jazz and big band guy. Also love classical. Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or uh, the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe! You have strange ideas of vacations, Maya. I don't think those are strange ideas. Although, the way she phrased the sea and not the beach kind of put me off a bit. Also, about that... What was it again? More of jazz, big band kind of guy, also love classical. Uh... I did... I... I have listened to piano music in the past, but I don't think I'd consider it classical because it wasn't any of the like classical uh, composers or anything like that. And I would really just listen to it to like calm myself down usually because piano music tends to help me calm down and stuff. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma is going to bring up DL6. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. Is that really true, though? Is that act? Because I don't know that about law. Is that actually considered murder? Like, you can get in trouble for accidentally killing somebody without intending to. Is that actually a thing? Also, he hello, second person. You could have come at a worse time because we have only two minutes left in this stream. <laughs> Manslaughter. Huh. Interesting. I I just believe in Edward's innocence. Hey, thanks for following. You should probably join the Discord if you don't. If you haven't already, and if you have a Discord, that is. Um, <laughs> I can't believe he'd kill somebody. Someone. B but Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I don't... I, I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright... If you say so, I suppose I could check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. Oh, I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials. Alrighty, alrighty, right, right, right. Well, I'm gonna save and call it a day for now.
thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming and staying and viewing and for chatting with me, especially you, Clockworth. You're a real one. Um, <laughs> uh, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow, 7. This time I will stream four hours that, the rest of the times. So I, I only stream two hours for this one, but I'll be streaming Slime Ranch tomorrow from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Wednesday I'm off. And then Thursday, if anyone voted, uh, the most voted for game will probably be the game that I play. So those of you on Discord who might watch this at any point in time before then, please, oh, please vote. I can't stress it enough. We've been slacking on voting, and it hasn't really been making it that much of a, you know, crazy thing with the votes, so. And like always, I bid the all. Yucky.